What we know of God is what God has revealed to us. You haven't discovered God. You didn't invent God. God is God by himself. Verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for the looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in clouds with power and great glory. And when, they, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Some preach a gospel, Paul said, but it's not the true gospel. He said, some preach a Jesus, but it's another Jesus. He said, some talk of the Spirit, but it is another Spirit. And uh, this, these are dangerous times in which all of us must get concerned about the things of God and get interested in it. The Apostle Paul said, I'm, I'm concerned that when I leave you, grievous wolves will come in. some time and they begin to deliberately worship and call upon the name of the Lord because God said I will inhabit the praises of my people when two or three are gathered together in my name in the midst of them I shall be also Somebody better be concerned. Paul said, I have not stopped day and night to preach to you. Because it's possible that in one generation you can lose a love for the truth. And that's why the church has got to be strong. That's why the preachers have got to be strong. I believe that we are living in a day that in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, you and I could be caught up to forever be with the Lord. That's the day we are living. But there are many grievous wolves that would destroy and take from your heart the Word of God. There are many enemies of the truth. There are enemies of the cross. How many believe there's enemies of the name of Jesus Christ? We're facing a world that the very nature of this world is is in a, uh, a contrast with the Word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to know that it is important to Jesus that you know and realize, hallelujah, that you cannot do the things pertaining to him so long as you're in the flesh. And the only way you can leave the old flesh behind is when you dedicate yourself, hallelujah, to prayer, to supplication, to fasting, and talking to the Lord. You can't know him unless you worship him. You can't know him unless you spend time with him. You can't know him unless you magnify 
magnify his holy name. You can't know him unless you come together with people of like precious faith. Unite your voices together and lift up the name of Jesus and proclaim the good things of God. It's the only way, church. Hallelujah. I know he's coming. You know he's coming. But outside the doors of this church, there is a world that's careening into hell by the tens of thousands every day. And we can't sit helplessly by, complacent, and let it continue to go on. We must take a stand someplace, sometime. You've got to draw a line in the sand. And you've got to 